So for this first tip guys, I'm going to show you how to get like a skeleton image of your car, how to, you know, see through the uh, bonnet of the car, or just get transparent pictures where you can see the background and your car, like a ghost picture of your car as if it was in passing mode. So the first thing you want to do is um, make sure you're in a motorcycle club and then just park the car wherever you want and maybe like perhaps a uh, a background which has a cool design or decoration or you know flowers leaves anything and then you're gonna uh, get out the car move away from it hold down an X to Rockstar record or down an A to Rockstar record and whilst you're in the MC club just return personal vehicle once you return personal vehicle and it's all gone the car's gone you can then you can then stop recording by pressing down an X or down an A again now it's just very simple all you do now is go into Rockstar Editor, get the position you want, the camera position, and then just find the area where the car starts disappearing. And then just find where the car starts disappearing in the timeline. And then you can get it even further transparent or less transparent by going in and out of that timeline area. And you can get really cool images as you can see on this example. You can look through the engine. If you've got like turbos and stuff, you can see it. And you know, it makes up for a really good Instagram picture or something. So I'm not going to count this one as a tip because I did mention this in what to do when bored in GTA. And it's just to tell you guys that this is actually working. So I did tell you guys to join the Flush Family community on um, PS4. Uh, it's only for PS4 at the moment. I apologize for Xbox users. But uh, join the Flush Family community. And as you see, it's working. People, this is, I think, two weeks after I made the video and there's parties still open to join car meets so all you do is join someone's car meets there's people quite a few people hosting these parties just join them and ask for an invite and they'll send you an invite and that's it guys it's so easy you can get in a car meet that easily so make sure you join the flush family community and yeah hopefully you get in a car meet This one's a really simple tip and it's if you damage your cars. This is mainly for people that go to meets. Um, I don't know why people don't do this. I think people just uh, I think people just don't think about it. So if you do end up damaging your car or something and you're in a meet, you can actually call it back really quickly. Um, people normally go and call the mechanic, but you can just, you know this part where you can return vehicle. And then if you just press select, go on vehicles and then request vehicle, and the same car will end up arriving so you don't need to call the mechanic up and search for that Schwarzer again and you've got your car back again and it's that easy I wish it would come back lowered but obviously it didn't and but yeah there's a quicker way to uh, request your car so just the other day I put two and two together and I did kind of find this tip out so what this is here it's a drag race um, so it's just a race with the drag racing kind of layout I made it so it's not that great um, and I am going down the wrong way this just tells you how many seconds you do the quarter mile in so I've got one pulse halfway down the strip for a quarter mile and then another pulse for half a mile so for this video I'm just gonna measure half a mile and all I'm gonna do is stay at this line here where the line is and hold down so all you want to do is hold down the car should still be functional so you can get your launch ready for when you're about to go so I'm getting my launch ready now and as soon as I let go of R1 to launch I'm gonna press X so X and let go of R1 so the car started I'm going and this is how I will time that's the quarter mile if you want to stop the recording you can stop it there I'm gonna stop it here so I'm holding down X and there we go 1259 so I've done a half a mile in 1259 it's really unrealistic I mean 12 12 seconds uh, but according to GTA and the races this is definitely a quarter mile and a half mile and yeah I don't think that's the actual measurement but the whole point of this one is to time yourself doing a strip so you can do this at the airport you don't have to do my race you can do it at the airport test all your cars see which one of your cars is faster 
and yeah that can be an accurate way to measure your cars and then you can also still go into Rockstar Editor and double check the times of each cars and you know so for this tip guys I'm going to show you how to use Rockstar Editor and I'm going to start with the straight basics for this one um, I'm going to show you how to actually record the clip in the first place so when you're out with your friends Again, this does just work with uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox and PC, this only works on next gen consoles. But to start the whole process, all you need to do is hold down and X or hold down and A on an Xbox controller. So you'll see it recording, it says a recording on top of your map there. Just wait for it to record for a few minutes or sorry seconds. And once you've done that, hold down and X again and it should stop the recording now that will be in your rockstar editor and from then on you can start editing the clip so the way to get to rockstar editor is to go on one of your story mode characters just go on story mode so now once you're on story mode you're just going to press pause and you're going to go all the way to the end where it says rockstar editor and you're going to click on rockstar editor once you're on rockstar editor you just click on create new project and then add clip and you're going to find the clip that you edited and then as you see your clip is there if you've got more than one clip you can go press circle add clip and then you can add another clip that you have as if you want to so now that I've got this clip we can start editing it so now that the clip is opened up you can see that this is the exact same clip that you just recorded so how your gameplay was when you recorded it and I think we will start figuring out how free camera works so if you want to go on cameras you just uh, select on cameras A, X and you just realize that it says game camera that means that whatever the game was and then player overhead, player left, player right, player rear but I never use these ones, These, all these ones I'm mentioning, I don't use any of them except free camera. Now free camera, if you go on, if you look, if you say it says look at target, that means the camera will look at the target. If you put move with target, it will obviously move with the target. And blend mode will keep until we edit the camera. I'll tell you how that works. And shake will just make it shake through the whole clip. But we don't want to look at that. We don't want to focus on that right now. So when we go and edit camera, you can see that now we can put the camera wherever we want now you do have a perimeter of about I don't know how much 20 meters or 10 meters whatever that is but you can you realize that you can actually put the camera anywhere you can put it in a spot where it shouldn't be you can put it you can put it anywhere so you want to kind of calibrate you want to figure out how this camera works because but even though I look like I'm you know moving it rather easily it's not that easy for first time use so you just want to probably practice by looking at your target and then probably spinning around your target just to understand how the camera movement works even I can't do it and I've uh, I've been doing it quite long so just spin around the target understand how it works L1 R1 is height and yeah so once you found so the main aim here is we're gonna I'm gonna record a cinematic clip so if I want the cinematic clip to start here and maybe end here I have to I have to look at it so I have to imagine it moving like that so if I wanted to start recording here and end at the back so I wanted it to be a smooth thing I have to first select so once you've got your spot at the front once you've got your camera at the front of the car you can press circle so that means that the camera is going to start there so as you see it does nothing but stay there but now what you want to do is find an end point so the end point is going to be at the back of the car so you can just put you can just move this estimately um, move it here it doesn't really matter where you put it so you just move the analog you press X and then that will make a checkpoint. You press A or X that will make a checkpoint. Now when you made a checkpoint you want to go on edit camera again and just move the camera to the back if that's where you want it to finish. So this is the finishing shot. The one that you just did was the starting shot 
and this is the finishing shot so where you want the camera to stop so again press circle or B and you go back now you'd realize that when you press play it doesn't move it just well go to the next shot so now what you want to do is go back to the first checkpoint by pressing L1 or LB I think it is on Xbox so you want to go to the first checkpoint you did you want to go back on cameras and you want to go on this blend mode that I mentioned earlier once you're on blend mode go on smooth and now you'll realize that when you start there you go it starts and finishes at the end but in a lot of my cinematic shots I don't have it that soft so as you see it will start soft and end soft I normally turn this off and so so I go on the first checkpoint I turn blend easing off I go on the second checkpoint I turn blend easing off so now when I play it it will just stop really harshly it will start and stop harshly and that's how I do my cameras if you think it's too fast like I might think that's too fast I'll go back to the first one again and I'll go to speed if you back out a camera it will say speed here and you go on 50% so you're going to half the speed 35% you know 0.35 of the speed and play it and see if that's right and you like it then you can do that so to start the next clip you want to press X again and then you want to do the same thing camera edit camera you want to move the camera and you might want to record this car and maybe go down with the camera so I might want to go like this so I might want to take a shot and go down and I'm sorry if I don't really explain a lot of this it's just because this is so programmed to me I've done so many walks that edit clips that I might think it's the norm to skip something when it's really not um, I do apologize for that in, in advance so what you want to do is you've got your starting shot you want to move across the line by you know your analog you can scrub fine by making it making your d-pad um, move for you so say if I want to end there and then again I'm gonna do where I want the camera to finish so I want the camera to finish maybe here and I just look at the car and I'm gonna do the, exactly the same thing as I did before go back to the first checkpoint put smooth and you always want to go back to the first checkpoint and then do smooth if you do the first checkpoint and then you put smooth it, it messes up the editor a bit because it'll be smooth through the whole timeline so now that I've done that it should go down and that's really the main parts of my edit the main parts of my edit is just panning so uh, if, if you realize that the first shots here and then it's gonna stop and then go to the next shot and if you don't want it to stop all you gotta do is line your first your first part of the second clip so the starting point here you want to you want to line it up with the last of the first clip by doing that you need to press L1 or a hold L1 or hold left bumper and and drag so hold L1 and move the analog so that will now move the checkpoint and you want to move it as close as possible to the last of the first clip so now if we go to the start you should see that it goes straight to that clip and that's really how it is if you want to mess about with effects remember to always go to the first clip of the shot remember I did start here uh, let me half the speed if I want to uh, change the effects I can go on you know I can mess around with GTA's effects I can go less intensity you know and if you do ever make a clip of this using this editor just uh, please like let me know tag me in it and I'll really like to see what you guys create now once you once you got the basic understanding this is a very basic you can do transitions and stuff this is just a very basic uh, way I think once you get past this hurdle it's everything else is really easy it's just pressing a few buttons remember all I'm doing is starting one clip one checkpoint on the car I want to record it that I want to record sorry start and 
say if I want to end here. And that's my transition. Go back to the first checkpoint, make it smooth so it so it rolls with the footage. And as you see, it'll roll to the foot. It'll roll to the second checkpoint that I did. And there it is. It's just now if you want to get into like shaking or editing you can just go and shake intensity it's really it's very easy to learn after that so say you wanted it to shake at that point you can just record and you can have it like that and yeah you can get it looking really nice um, once you've done with your edit and yeah I just really don't want to make this video that long that's mainly what I do when I'm editing it it looks complicated when I'm editing it but it's really not that's all it really is start and I want the end over here and I go back to the start I go on blend mode smooth and that's it it's really that simple so let me know if this did help you because I feel like I'm really bad at explaining things <laughs> and even and I think even if I was to listen to myself I think I'd get confused so Please let me know if that helped and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this final tip. Thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.